Happy Surprise! birthday! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Happy late birthday! <laughs> it's delicious! It was happy super late birthday. Nice. <laughs> Wait, really? No. I was, <laughs> I was really? Like, I was like, no way. This is a luau party. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow, this is really nice. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is awesome. And look, we have a photo backdrop with grass skirts and coconut bras. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? So we're all going to take pictures and we're going to... Get laid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting laid today. Everybody. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's going to hula. He's going to do the hula. No, I'm sure you got but the skirt. <laughs> More than 2 million people have signed an online petition calling for Colorado officials to reopen the investigation into the death of Elijah McClain a 23-year-old black man who died in August, after he was stopped by Aurora police officers who used a carotid hold on him. The petition calls on Adams County District Attorney Dave Young, Mayor Mike Hoffman and the Aurora Police Department to conduct a more in-depth investigation and remove the officers involved from duty. Around 10.30 p.m. on August 24, 2019, McLean was walking home from a convenience store, according to the petition. The Aurora Police Department received a call of a suspicious man wearing a ski mask, according to a release. Officers arrived and tried to stop McLean, who they said was actively resisting and trying to grab one of their guns. They put him in a carotid hold, applying pressure around his neck, restricting blood flow to the brain. McLean briefly went unconscious. The fire department and paramedics were called to assist and injected McLean with ketamine to sedate him. In the more than three hours of body camera footage of the arrest, McLean can be seen being held down on the ground, vomiting, sobbing, and saying, I can't breathe. Dot at one point, an officer also tells McLean, if you keep messing around, I'm going to bring my dog out, and he's going to dog bite you. Then Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz called that comment unprofessional, according to the Sentinel Colorado. That comment has been addressed with that officer through a written corrective action, he said. I do want to provide an apology to the family, because when they saw that and heard that it was something that really disturbed them greatly into that, again, I do very much and sincerely apologize. George Floyd is not alone I can't breathe uttered by dozens in fatal police holds across U.S. McLean was loaded into the ambulance where the paramedic determined he was not breathing and did not have a pulse. He was declared brain dead three days later. An autopsy was unable to determine if his death was an accident due to natural causes or a homicide. The Adams County Coroner's Office report listed several contributing factors including the combination of intense physical exertion and a narrow left coronary artery. The district attorney's office declined to file criminal charges in November. A police force review board said in February that the officers had a lawful reason to contact McLean and that the use of force during the altercation, including the carotid hold, was within policy and consistent with training. The Sentinel reported that McLean's death sparked protests at city council meetings, but in the wake of Floyd's death the case has seen renewed interest. Earlier this month, McLean's mother said Coloridans engaged in selective protesting. The district attorney's office has received thousands of emails and calls and the police department has received hundreds of complaints. I don't open up investigations based on petitions, District Attorney Young told Colorado Politics. Obviously, if there is new evidence to look at, I will look at the evidence in any case. The city manager selected an investigator to conduct an external review of the case, but the mayor announced last week that the city terminated its contract with the appointed investigator, who was an attorney and former police officer. Last week, in the wake of George Floyd's death in Minnesota, Governor Jared Paul signed a sweeping police accountability bill, which bars the use of chokeholds and carotid.